about tax evasion. After the break, an interview with Punk Duck, only on California Christian Homeowners 109.7 KSBJ Frequency Module. Hey, Cameron. Right where you fucking are, Avery. If that is your real name. Oh my god. I've been down this road before. Tell me something only the real Avery would know. Taxation is theft. And the only exception? Tariffs. Good to know there's some real ones still around. Yeah, I... same, I guess. I, hey, is there a reason we're doing this in the middle of the Californian mountains and not, like, subway? First of all, gross. Second of all, we need to be somewhere they can't find us. Wait, so does that mean that you... Can you fucking turn that down? Alright, thanks. So, does that mean you know how they're tracking us? I just know that it happens slower in the mountains. Wait, did you did you hear that? What? Oh yeah, that's Kyle. What? Yeah, I mean, he was on the way, so... That, that sounded like it was coming from the boot of your car. Yeah. Why did you... Why did you kidnap Kyle? Because he can't see the ads. So, why did you kidnap Kyle? Fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you? Wait, fuck it. God damn it. Why would this piece of shit turn off? I'm glad you Oh, fuck! He made it past my sick tunes! Ah, chuck it! We gotta go! Humble Monthly is a subscription service where you can get a bunch of video games for $12 a month. Wait, fuck! I forgot all about Kyle. We gotta take the other car. Why the fuck did you kidnap him in the first place? <laughs> Head on down to humble.pleasestopshopping.com now to check out the early updates and support the podcast and the show. Welcome to the podcast. I really hope he keeps all this in. Oh, he will. Uh, Fuck this, I'm grinding the goblin king. Okay, hey. <laughs> That's it, I don't do give we, a shit. Do Mandy, we, if you keep playing Adventure Quest uh, and we have to delete the episode again, I'm actually going to fucking strangle you. Don't do worry, we still I'm do the thing playing. where after we say welcome to the podcast, there's a clapping? No. <clears throat> I don't know. That's in the, the editing. The list of audio devices connected to the operating system has been changed. Do you want to change the... <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I'm dead fucking serious. God. You can ask this new pet if he's heard any rumors. Okay, it's fine. It, it just did a small pause, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. I already know this episode's cursed. Who's here? <laughs> Are we doing? Are we doing intros? No, I'm just asking who's here. Like who's here? humanly. Humanly, yeah. I think I'm uh, alright. Mandy, you're not. Mandy, allowed. shut up. <laughs> you're not here. You're not. <laughs> go back to Adventure Quest. We'll call you back. Don't go back to Adventure. <laughs> Please, <laughs> he just. You got have off the story. <laughs> we just. He just got off. It. God, God. Who brought up Adventure Quest? He it was did. David. It was you, wasn't it, David? It was David. That's, no, David brought up the Miller verse. No, Miller-verse. I was talking about. The, the, the General Mills <laughs> The Frank Miller Miller verse The Frank yeah. Miller fucking universe No we were talking the about Frank General Miller Mills Frank Miller Pillsbury universe we were talking yeah. about General Can we get Mills a universe for life. shitty social games? Like Yeovil, Mafia City Mafia like Wars Social the Zingaverse Turmoil, if anybody remembers Turmoil I am Mandy. You. Mandy Mandy Please Oh my god Mandy <laughs> Please. Please just click the God. fucking close screen, close window button. Just close your screen for He's the rest of the li- podcast. Hey, hey Mandy, Miller, you know what, David, Mills-Berry. you tell your story. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Fine, I'll tell my story. So the reason why there's been like a short break uh, mm. for the podcast and stuff is because I was actually in the hospital for a while and they told me not to work anymore. And <sighs> this is the story of like spending 15 hours in an emergency At an airport? room. Oh. oh, dude, I'm not. I'm not like. I was about to be interested. Airport hospital. Was it, how yours was way longer than 15. I don't let's just tell your story, man. I don't want to. Okay. Anyways, basically, I was having like panic attacks and freaking the fuck out, having like sh- like uh, nausea and whatever. And like for a whole week. And when I got to like the the Monday of the next week, I was like, shit, I need to actually like do something about this. I can't just let this like let this go on without checking with the doctor. So I called this 
So like while I was having a really bad panic attack, uh, I called the uh, 811, which is basically it's like a doctor answers and he tells you like you, you tell him your symptoms and he tells you what to do and like what you should be wary about or like treatments that could be like relief for you. So I, I, I basically, I, I, he answers the phone. He tells me like, he, he tells me, Hey, Hey, what's, what, what, what seems to be the problem, sir? And I'm like, well, I have, I've been having nausea and dizziness and like shortness of breath and whatever. And then he says possibly the worst fucking thing imaginable. He like to somebody that's clearly having a panic attack. He just says, "Oh, that might be leukemia." What? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Do uh -oh. you? Uh -oh. So do it's you like know. A, do you know it's how? It's like an over the phone WebMD. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like dude, that's, that's that's uh, it's more used like for like when you're ha where, like if you don't want to if you're like not feeling well but you want to but you want to have like a talk to a doctor because you're alone. It's like that what kind else of would you well, ever use? David, I have to like stop you right for. there. Without well, wanting to spoil you could... your story, this isn't some fucked up way of announcing you have leukemia, right? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, that's good, <laughs> because then if it was, no. it definitely did spoil your story. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> like, <laughs> no. He, he, the guy just calmly says like, oh, well, uh, you should probably head to the hospital right now because that seems like leukemia to me. <laughs> Which, uh, imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine having a panic attack, like, it's my like heart's racing. It's the cancer arc in Archer. It's just, oh yeah, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> it's Dude. the fucking, re it's the, the reintegration of the cancer arc in David's life on the podcast. It felt, I know, it felt like, it felt like I was getting, <laughs> it's karma. I, it felt like karma, absolutely. Oh You're fulfilling your karmic debt. And I was it's like, it's going full circle. The more, yeah. because like I was, my heart was already like, exp like fucking beating so fast, and I was shaking. And then he says, that leukemia. does sound like leukemia. He, sa I, <laughs> he says, I'm going to be on a podcast 30 years from now, like <laughs> talking of a story about you, and then I'm going to go, oh, wait, I think he had leukemia. <laughs> And I was like fucking freaking the fuck out. And he just says, you might have leukemia. I sh I was like freaking the fuck out. I started crying, man. I was like, oh, shit. I called my mom. I was like, we need to go to the emergency like right now. So my mom comes and she comes over. She picks me up and we go to the emergencies and... When I'm at the emergency, my mom calms me down and she's like, why would you have leukemia? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you I, fucking idiot. I'm, no, but she, she tells me that because the thing is, like, if I, if I had leukemia, I think I would have, like, the symptoms would be, like, more con like consistent. And it's been, like, very on and off for me. And then she's like, if it's been super on and off and you have days where you feel like, absolutely fine it it might just be like anemia or like it, wait is anemia like iron deficiency i don't know, I don't know. Sure. I th anyways it, it, she's like it might be just like a thyroid problem or like iron deficiency because <laughs> like it's the exact same symptoms without the cancer and i was like yeah that makes sense so like i, I start calming down we get to the hospital and like I fucking hate hospitals. What was that? I'm sorry. Ed, I'm, what you said? I'm really glad you asked because it does sound down. like the twist at the end of the story is turns out I did I, have leukemia. David said thyroid problem. I looked at the server again and looked straight into that boogie. Heart. As David said thyroid problem. <laughs> Oh my I god! Know, I'm sorry. Continue. Continue. Base, okay, anyways, I basically I get there. I get to the hospital and I start feeling a bit better because I tell myself like it, it's eventually, it's eventually gonna get. Avery, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like eventually it's gonna eventually it's gonna get better. And uh, I I get I get there. There's basically the first the first step. I don't know how uh, emergency 
uh, the emergency use work in uh, the U.S. or elsewhere. Mm. But basically, you get there, uh, you get there, you take a number, and then you check in with a nurse. Yeah, it's the same thing here. In I Europe. think it's a yeah. nurse, a nurse, and then they like do the, uh, they they basically like t- put you like t- give you a number of how serious your case is. And uh, I get there. They do like a, a hemoglobin thing. They do like the. Is a hemoglobin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I can't love this get away from already. <laughs> <laughs> Someone draw David as the hemoglobin. <laughs> the hemoglobin. <laughs> it's just the character from Cells at Work. <laughs> what? What is? Oh, is that the anime about the blood? Yeah, it is. No. Yeah. Oh well, not blood, no. but sure. Go <laughs> well, ahead. It's not I mean, necessarily wrong. <laughs> I'm not wrong. There was like the white blood cells You're and then the red blood cells, and then they I'm not here to talk about the premise of cells at work. <laughs> leukemia made me think of that Charlie Brown episode where that girl has leukemia, but then I, <laughs> but then I mix up in my mind and think, and I think I remember it as Charlie Brown having leukemia because he's bald, like he went through chemo. But then it's like, oh no, it was that blonde girl. I didn't know what it was. I was a kid. I thought leukemia just meant she was like tired, bald. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Well, because I just remember like I this mean, blonde yeah. girl became bald. When like you're... she has leukemia, and I was like, oh man, she's bald, and that's why Charlie Brown is sad too because he realized that it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand until much later. <laughs> Continue, David. <laughs> Anyways, they give me, they give me the least worst. How do you say this without being French? The just be French. The least worst, like they they give me like the, the most least urgent, unim- least urgent, the least urgent. Yeah, the least urgent uh, number, and I'm like, that's like such a fucking relief. But I'm still having like I'm I, I I'm still like just living on adrenaline because I have I think I might have like. Uh, I I'm a bit of a hypochondriac. I think it's called where like any tiny like oh no i have a headache oops looks like i have a tumor you know like my brain oh. just exaggerates uh every, web MD every... target audience yeah, yeah dude yeah i had to block web web md on everything dude but um yeah my so I, I'm, hurts. dude <laughs> you have a disease not seen since the middle ages <laughs> i know it's it's exactly that and i'm like what if i'm the one percent <laughs> it's very rare but it happens. What? Black I Blake know, 2, happens. Patient 0, <laughs> David. <laughs> Dude, no joke. I actually, like, I was, Don't, I was what like, are you thinking. About Are you going to say, I thought <laughs> I had the sequel ones. to the Black Plague? <laughs> no, I thought I had. Because I was looking at the news at the same time. Because they, they just play the news. And at one point during the news, they say like, oh, in Africa, there's uh, they found a new strain of uh, this virus. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm patient zero. I, I legit. I, I was if like, they found it in, Africa, in Africa. You're not patient zero. <laughs> I know, but I was like thinking, like, holy shit, what if? I'm next. They found it in Africa. I, I'm, I'm next. <laughs> but yeah, dude. I was just in Africa, <laughs> and I was just, uh, I was just sitting there and eating cereal because I was like, if I have iron deficiency, I'm just gonna eat a fuck ton of cereal and drink a fuck ton of water to get. To make the bad go away, you know, and I just, <laughs> right, of I was just, I, I've never don't eat lettuce or anything. <laughs> I didn't have, I didn't have lettuce. I only had fucking Cheerios, and that's what I fucking ate. I swear to God, no joke. I, I was like, mom. I told my mom, I was like, mom, if it's an iron deficiency, we need to stop by the grocery store. <laughs> and I got a, I got a bunch of Cheerios. And I was just eating like the pack of Cheerios like alone all fucking night for 15 hours. I had a fucking, <laughs> I only ate Cheerios and drank water. I drank probably like this thing because I have this, um, this canteen that's like a liter. I think I legit, no joke, drank 20 liters of fucking water that day. Oof. I just kept chugging water because I was like. How much water do you have to drink to get water poisoning? Oh, dude, I have no idea. They have to do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That has to be a lot at once, though. 
If you do it throughout the day, you're fine. Because there's that yeah, it was, there's it that was lady who died like trying to win the uh, a Wii, I think, in some radio contest. Oh yeah. Right How yeah. much is water? <laughs> Why is that laughing? That's that's not funny, dude. Somebody Imagine died. dying because you wanted a Wii. <laughs> you're an asshole. That's not funny at all. It's, okay, everybody laughing, is the asshole except me. That's funny, and you guys just fucking threw me under the bus. <laughs> 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 Anyways, to get back to my story, um, now I'm in a waiting room and it's been like only one hour because like by the time they like do the smaller tests, like getting like the the your pressure and like your heart rate, whatever. <clears throat> so it's been one hour and I'm just ba I'm basically just waiting now for like getting blood tests because I because the thing is in my family, they're like. There is the running condition where we have underactive uh, thyroid glands. So I do need to actually check that. Um, anyways, I like while I'm waiting there, I, I'm just like fucking chugging water and shoving insane amounts of <laughs> Cheerios in my face. <laughs> And this this guy when behind me. When they saw me, you chug the Cheerios, they should have bumped you up the most urgent. <laughs> like, the fuck <laughs> is that? I Incredibly know, dude. Amazing. Dude, there were actually, like, there was a grandpa that was looking at me because he was like, there was this really nice old couple that I talked to, like a bit with, and the first thing he told me was like, "You like Cheerios?" <laughs> And I was, and I, I didn't have the heart to like be like, no, I don't actually like them that much. It's just because I'm terrified of iron deficiency. And you didn't I, have I the just, heart to explain like, yeah. it to him. You didn't have I the mean, heart. I mean, because it's fucking weird. He would have thought <laughs> I'm a fucking think, psychopath. Like, uh, he would have thought, <sighs> dude, it's some... understandable. <laughs> That is understandable. I, I didn't feel. have the heart. It sounded like you were worried about upsetting him. You wouldn't be upset if somebody explained to you, "Oh, I've been eating a no, fuck ton of Cheerios." I was laughing internally, it. and then this tell the story is... on the podcast at a later date. <laughs> Anyways. <that's> funny. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, while I was waiting, there was a guy behind me that cut. His, he had like a pretty deep cut on his finger and he went there with his pregnant sis like cousin and they were both like waiting for the in in the emergencies and <laughs> the guy was so loud and on the phone and he was he was talking to like his boys and you know that he's talking to his boys because he was like what up, man? I just fucking cut my finger with, like, you know the toys? Like, you know when you, like, the toys and you you push the... It's like a lawnmower, but it's a, it's a phone? Do you guys actually know what I'm talking about, though? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. The lawnmower was, phone? It's like a lawnmower. No, a, I, I meant the, no, the no, type of person. I mean, no, I'm talking about the toy because there's a really famous toy that's basically just this huge, oh. like, this phone with a face... And like, it, it's oh like yeah, a, yeah, it's in yeah, like Toy yeah. Story. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in Toy Story, and he oh was like, yeah, and he was like, yeah, I cut myself pretty deep on the bottom of it. I was, I was just opening it up, and because I want, and I just cut myself on it, and he was like fucking delirious, and he was like losing a lot of blood. Oh my and god! I and he was just. He was just there, and his cousin was was on, just like rubbing her pregnant belly and going, "Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Dude, what is this? This is such a fucking weird mess." My mom was, my mom was fucking crying. She was laughing so fucking much at like these fucking weirdos behind us. Like the ER was. I, is it e, is it called ER? I guess like yeah. ER lobby was yeah. just full of people and everybody like everybody would like have the look, you know, you would look at them and they would do like, Ooh, you know, the white person look when something's fucking weird. Oh, yeah. No, I do that and, look constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ooh, <laughs> kind of weird. And fucking moments pass and they, they, they just keep bickering in the back and it's like nonstop. Eventually I get my name called. I go get my uh, blood tests. So 
I go into this small room. They make me like they they make me uh, take off my coat and everything, and then they ask me like, so like, do you, do you, do you need to do you need to sit down for this uh, for oh, this? Man. And I was like, what do you mean? Do I? I mean, don't you sit down usually for blood tests? And then she, she was like, she was so confused by me like asking. Do you don't you usually sit down for blood tests? Because I'm pretty sure that because there's there's some people, me included, that when I get a blood test, I have like, uh, what's dizzy? the word? I get prone to not dizziness, prone fainting? to act fainting. Yeah, I get prone to fainting. So I'm like, I, I just explained to her. Well, I g actually I get prone to fainting. So what would be the best if is if like I just on a bed with my feet in the air and she's like what and i was like what what do you mean what i don't i don't want to faint and i had to and i i was explaining this to her and she called another nurse because she didn't understand why i would be able to faint i was like listen just I, i i'll just go on the ground i'll just be on the ground and you can like take my blood if you want like and and she was like so fucking confused. She calls another nurse and I'm like, okay, fuck it. I, and I'm, I'm just sitting there. I'm waiting for the other nurse to get there because she seems so fucking confused. The other nurse comes in <laughs> and she gives me, she gives me like a vial and a, a huge bottle. Uh, well, huge. It's, it's pretty big, but it's like not big enough. And she's like, we need a urine test. I go to the restroom. I don't know if you, you know, you guys know how big like the bottles to piss in are, right? Yeah. yeah. They're pretty big. You, have you guys ever done it? No. I, like yes. urine tests? I've, yeah. I've done no, like urine tests. Dude. I started, I started pissing in the smaller one. Oh, I took one while I was unconscious. The actually. worst. Yeah. That That's was the worst right. call possible. I started pissing in the small one, and when I started, I've been drinking so much fucking water, like it just fucking flew out, and I I was like, oh shit, whoa! And did I had you not to anticipate that, dude. I did not anticipate that because I was like, I was like, in the big the big bottle probably has Are enough. You say I was in the zone. <laughs> I was in the zone, dude. No, because the big bottle for the urine test. Is it's like pretty big, so I'm like, that's about how much I pee. Like, I don't know how much I pee, but that's probably around it. I start peeing, and immediately it's like it starts over, like almost overflowing. And I'm like, oh no, shit, fuck. And I had this, I had my water bottle and my cereals with me. For some reason, I brought them with me, like in the restroom, and I was just like juggling, juggling a bottle of piss, a bottle of water, cereal, and a small vial of piss. Oh and I was God. like struggling so hard. You're not human. Eventually, I make, I fucking make my way back to the lady and I give it. What I did give you do my, with the rest of the piss? I pissed it on in the urinal, not urinal, but. Okay. Because <laughs> when you brought up, when you brought up that you were holding your Cheerios and water bottle while running out no, of room was, for your piss, <laughs> I thought that was going in a very different direction. Yeah, I did too. Dude. I mean, I, it, I mean, I'm not going to say them. there wasn't, I'm not going to say there wasn't spillage, but it wasn't on me and I cleaned it up. So I, <laughs> I eventually go back. Did I you piss in your Cheerios? That's the question that Mandy and I are trying no, to ask. No, no, okay. no, no, God, no, God, no. I would have been so destroyed. Uh, I thought you didn't even like Cheerios, you bitch. And that grandpa like, would have had I mean, a lot I like, of floor questions. I'm having audio problems. Oh, cool. Okay, it's back. There you go. Okay, sorry Great. about that. Sorry about that. I've gotten that. zero um, Windows updates. Yeah. I'm good. It's okay. We'll just cut that out later. Oh, God. Mandy. Mandy. Stop Mandy. fucking Mandy. playing Adventure Quest. Mandy. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a gun? Do you have a gun? Yes. Baby Earth Dragon. Why does, no, the, fine, why does the dragon Continue look your story, like porn? <laughs> I, go back, I go back to the lady. I give her my vial of piss and my bottle of piss, and she's like... She she looks at it and she starts investigating it, and I I just sit I sit down and I'm I'm waiting for her to like take my blood and she she looks pretty upset, and I'm like 
I, I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm like, because I, I, I've never done this before. So I tell myself like, oh shit, I definitely did something wrong. So I'm like, sorry, did I, did I, did I fill it too much or, and then she, she's like, this isn't piss. What? You put, wa you put water in this. Cause I drank so much water. My piss was like clear, like completely transparent. No fucking yellow. And she was like, sir, <laughs> did you put water in this bottle? And I was like, no, why would I do that? And then she says, I saw you go in there with the water bottle. And I was like, no, I was like, no, oh. why would I, why would I do that? I want <laughs> and she starts saying like, this is, you are wasting people's time <gasps> by doing this. And I was oh like, what? <laughs> what? I was like, what? It's warm. <laughs> it's warm. Touch and it. I was just, <laughs> Sniff it! Oh my god! <laughs> I was so upset, and I was like, "No, I swear! Why would I fucking?" And then I, I eventually convinced her by saying, "Like, I feel like I'm gonna fucking my heart is gonna explode. I might have leukemia. Can you just f <laughs> like, why would I fucking cheat on this test? I want to feel better. I don't want to feel like like this forever." And then she's like, eventually, <laughs> she eventually she's like, "Fine." She just puts it on the side, and then I guess she, she was like fucking upset because she just straps in my fucking arm, makes she, like looks at my fucking veins. She's like, "Oh, that's a fucking juicy one." She legit tells me that, oh and my. I've I've never. Let me just say this, by the way, I am I have like a fear of not needles, but just anything that pierces skin or like opens it up, like just. Anything like that? Sharp. Yeah, just sharp things just fuck me up. I was like, like, on the fucking bed that they got me, and she just fucking jammed it in so fast. I've never, I didn't know you could jam it in that fast. She just started, like, really fast, just sucking out the blood. Like, usually, I, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to, like take five seconds or some shit to like pull it out dude she pulled it out in one second i was feeling like ass i had i i needed a fucking couple handful of cheerios after that one. <laughs> i tell you what like <laughs> jesus christ anyways eventually eventually things like she my blood tests are done my urine tests are done she's like the doctor is gonna call you in a bit just go back in the waiting room. I go in the waiting room, sit next to my mom. I tell her what happened. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and we just watch the news and wait and wait and wait and wait. We waited, I think, five hours. Jesus. At that, at that point, at that point, it was five hours. And yeah. I was just waiting uh, for uh, the doctor to see me. Meanwhile, while this is while we're just waiting, the de the fucking delirious guy and his pregnant cousin. I'm not even fucking mm. joking. They called their friends and they were having a party in the ER. <gasps> what? They, I'm I'm not even joking. He was calling like because the guy was like, "Bruh, dude, do you wanna come smoke weed and then we can like." wait in the er with me because i might wait for a while and then her cousin was like was like calling her friends and her family and they their group was it a fucking was like, i don't know it was so fucking weird they just all went out to smoke weed at one point like at one point the three of them because the cousin was with like her uh husband or I don't know who, her fucking boyfriend, whatever. And they, they all went out to smoke weed very loudly. They were like very adamant to let everybody know in the ER that they were going out to smoke weed. So they're just like, all right, we're going to smoke weed now. And they just left. They come back <laughs> quadruple the size. Like they come Individually? back. Individually? Like, I mean, maybe not. They're like, at that point, I think there were like 20 of like these guys. Oh my God. And they were all just waiting on it. And they started playing trap music. And <laughs> That can't be allowed. You can't do that they, shit in the No, ER. it's not. 
No, it's not. You know why? I know that's not allowed. Because they got kicked out. Security. Because security fucking came came over. So security eventually comes over, and they're like, "What's happening over here? You can't because like you first off, you can't actually like call people in the ER. You have to like go outside. Like there's like a small room where you can actually like call people and talk a bit louder. And uh, he, he, they've been basically like just calling nonstop and being like, "What the fuck is up?" Really fucking loudly in the ER. But in French. But. It, Yo, what up, tabarnak? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's French. Yo, tu veux tu aller faire des spliffs? Dude. I they just were got so fucking, PTSD from that. They were fucking, they were the most white trash French Canadians I've ever seen in my life. And... Yeah, the, the, the security comes and they're like, you guys need to leave like right now. And they... And then the, the guy was like, out of the ER? <laughs> in the ER. And then he, 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 he was like, well, but, but they're here to support me in my time of need. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and the, 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 all the, all the dude bros were like, yeah, we're just here for him, man. Like bros, dude, we're just here for him. And the security was like, you, there, it, we have a limit of only one person. And it, it was like a fiasco. Cause like, eventually the security like was like, no, okay, this, this we're done with this. They like started like people like telling people like you, you're leaving and they took people out of the building. But the thing is every one to two hours they just fucking came back like they would come back and when they would come back they would be like what's up kevin <laughs> and then <laughs> it was dude i'm not even joking when i was saying that the whitest trash french canadians are all kevin's and cindy's like i don't know why but it's a fucking thing <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was, like, almost 15 hours of waiting for that. And, uh, eventually, I, I, I think eventually, because I, I, I'm going to be real, like, I almost passed out at one point because it was, like, 15 hours on adrenaline nonstop. Yeah. When I woke back up, they were gone. I think they just, like, went, because the, the guy was delirious. I'm pretty sure, like, he was in front of me in the, like, urgency, uh, not, I guess, scale? The tier list? Tier list. <laughs> the urgency tier list. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, eventually, I get my name called 10 hours in. <sighs> my mom and I are so fucking glad. I fucking run to the... I Okay, maybe I don't run, but I, I fucking pace really quickly because I want this shit done. <laughs> To the the lab, I guess, where it's happening, the room, and I sit down, and they say we need to do another blood test. Cause, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, I, you have to be shitting. I'm like, what happened? Because the, the, nowadays, now like it's not the day anymore. It's like it's like what night uh, evening. It was like midnight i think it was around midnight i'm like but i did urine tests and blood tests <laughs> the nurse is like you did you did urine tests <laughs> i'm like what what do you mean why are you so confused by urine tests and where's my other blood test and she he he's like i like he clear like he's clearly like trying to find a reason why i need more like why they, they lost? They just want blood. They, like they, they basically. They, I'm pretty sure they just lost my blood tests and my urine tests, and oh, they were like trying to find reasons. And they were like, "Oh yeah, well, it's because we we uh, the the last blood test we didn't we didn't take the right blood for it." And I was like, <laughs> "No way they said that." I don't want <laughs> say, say that in French. Like, say did that they, they get the French. same blood on okay. accident? Okay. Uh, C'est parce qu'on n'a pas pris le on a pas pris le bon sang pour faire le comprendre du sang d'ailleurs. No fuck. 
<laughs> is it like the Middle Ages? I'm like, not took joking. The wrong humors he was, out of you. The he wrong was like, dial. I, he was like, we need to take the blood from somewhere else in your body, and I was like. What? Fuck it. Okay, fine, fine. Just do it quick. They lost it. They yeah, I know. They, they 100% lost it. I just, I'm like, There's okay, a fine. A of David blood just floating around in the I know. Canadian it's medical system. It's just somewhere. It's just somewhere. Who the fuck knows? If you find it, can you mail it back to me? I just fucking, I'm like, okay, I just sit Someone down. Someone at the hospital was a really big fan of PST, and they were are gonna get freaky. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, There's another day fucking... being grown right now. I just fucking oh no, please. Oh my god. It's gonna be like oh wait, no, spoilers for a new movie. Never mind. Anyways. What? Uh you could have just said it's like Aliens Resurrection. I never watched Aliens Resurrection. Oh, that's a stupid good movie. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Really anyways, good. <laughs> anyways, Alien 3 I was boring. Down. Resurrection is stupid. I sit down, I I like they Start like tightening up my my fucking blood place, my veins, I guess. My blood and place. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, um, and then he just <laughs> is that what the doctors called it? Well, it's what we I call it. it and he just were you delirious? Place. Did all of this happen in an alley? <laughs> <laughs> hey pal I mean I was about like, tighten up your blood place <laughs> I think I was having the longest panic attack of my life and I just sit down I just sit down he takes his like little alcohol thingy and he just starts like spread putting the alcohol at the exact same spot where they fucking put the needle last time <laughs> did you and tell him I'm like, excuse me sir you're trying to draw from the wrong place that's the wrong blood that's the wrong blood that's, <laughs> I, I didn't say that I just said I, ju I just said that oh that's that's where the that's where the last person uh, drew, drew blood. You can tell from the place where the it, they drew blood, <laughs> the fucking mark, the needle mark. And then he was like, "Oh yeah, well it's." And then he just did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he, like he just fucking he was like, oh, "Fuck it." Dude, there is like, a, honestly, there's absolutely less, a David being dude, grown in a test tube right now. I would have been, I would have been so I, much I less upset. If, if I would have been so off. much less. Just say it. Just say, yeah, we lost it. Like we lost it between two shifts. You can just say it. We lost it between two shifts. My coworkers are incompetent. I don't know. Just say something. I don't give a shit. That doesn't instill confidence don't lie to me. either. I mean, I know, but it, I, if you're trying to be like, if you're lying to me, like clearly, yeah, I'm I know. even more upset because then you're gonna you're, you're gonna tell me I have anxiety when I actually have leukemia, yeah. and like, I, I I go back, I sit down, five more hours pass. God, I want to cry every time I think back at that. I get my actual name called for real this time, and I actually see a doctor. And basically I was waiting like, let's say I was maybe waiting 15 hours just for my blood test results. That's all it was. I Jesus. go in the room, I sit down, I wait another 30 minutes in the ER, the actual ER this time. And eventually the doctor comes in. He's like, okay, so what seems to be the problem? I tell him everything that's going on and he's like, okay, okay. Well, okay, and anything else? And I say, well, what about the blood tests? And what blood tests? tests? Ed? <laughs> what? Ed? No way. Yeah, dude. No. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Not even fucking joking. Not even fucking joking. I feel like I have What blood now. tests, dude? What blood test? I'm like, oh, I, I wanted to fucking cry when he said that. I was like, I like, I, I was like, what were they so tired? How did they I diagnose was, you without running blood tests? I mean, they didn't at that point. They didn't. They were just like, I was just, he was just saying the symptoms, and I, and I was like, oh yeah. W by the way, what are the results for that? Because I, I wanted things to go fast, and he was like, what? And I'm like, I, I, I was like getting pretty angry at the whole thing. And I, I was kind of bitching. I was like, I've been waiting 15 hours for these results. I've done two blood tests so far and one urine test for no apparent reason, apparently. And then he was like, wait, they made you do a urine test? And I was like, exactly, exactly. 
Why? And then it, he was like, okay, well, I'll be right back. I'm going to go check if we can find the blood test. And I'm like, oh my fucking God. I wait another like 30 minutes. He comes back with the actual fucking results for real this time. And he tells me it's anxiety. Mm. It's just it's, it's just extreme, <laughs> severe. It's like severe anxiety disorder mixed with extreme overworking and fatigue. And he was like, well, Don't I'm going to come here to help your and, symptoms. And that's how I got free Xanax. <laughs> At what cost? That Xanax was not free. 15 hours and of my your blood. fucking life. So oh, much you're blood. right. So oh, your identity. Totally. God. There's going to be if it, at any point David, if you drastically change your personality, there's I'm going be, to assume yeah. you got swapped. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. What a fucking horror story. But yeah. No, I I'm I'm like for people wondering, I'm getting better and I'm actually like I haven't had a panic attack in a while. Just so people don't worry about that. Sure, the hospital didn't help much with that. No, no, the fucking hospital did nothing you to help me. You have a leukemia, maybe? No. <laughs> for, I went to the... For anyone wondering, I got my blood back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <For> anyone, <laughs> Dude, Why are can they taking just... your blood? It's like, if you have leukemia, that's important. You need that. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm so glad it's not leukemia, though. <laughs> I'm so glad that after 15 hours, I eventually found out what was happening. Oh my god. Oh, that's yeah, amazing. <sighs> Wait, is leukemia the uh, Sarah Connor disease? What? what the fuck is the Sarah Connor disease? Leukemia is, that's what she died of. Cancer. Sure. What? Was it? Yeah. Pretty sure. Well, spoilers, spoilers, and also what the fuck? Hang on, let me In look. Which timeline Sarah though? There's some... Oh death. no, that's right. In Terminator Three, she died of a. Uh... That's right. Yeah. Oh my god, spoilers. Uh, Sarah okay. Connor has died from <laughs> acute myeloid leukemia. Thank you. I could have been the Sarah Connor of this podcast. If only God let me. <laughs> Don't let me, please, God. <laughs> You did just wish for leukemia, so if at any point in time David gets diagnosed with and it, cancer, and it is I would need everyone right who now. listens to the podcast to know that it's, he wants it. It is what? And it's fucking Easter right now. Like, this is the time to wish for shit. Boy, you got leukemia. <laughs> Do you wish for things around Easter? <laughs> I wish for a speedy recovery. Thanks. <laughs> what is this Easter wish? What? I wasn't gonna comment on the Easter wish. You guys will make Easter wishes. <laughs> There's no Easter wish. I really like Ed's, Ed's understanding of Christianity will never what? not be funny to me. It's the <laughs> Jesus comes back and he's like, "What do you want?" Yeah. <laughs> gave everyone a wish. I mean, if I'm real, uh. like. Uh, I, th I think, I mean, in my family, in my family, at least during Easter time, we give it, we give each other like small presents, but I think that might be like more of a, I'm not sure if it's a French Canadian or like a Mormon French thing. thing. Yeah. I mean, people give each other Easter baskets sometimes. Well, I got a blender yeah. for Christmas. Oh, nice. Or not Christmas, Easter. Sorry. <laughs> Keep getting Let's, those two mixed up. You uh, bake carrots for the big rabbit too. Yeah. You leave it out. Yeah, Do carrots in a glass Leave of water. Carrots out. Yeah, <laughs> glass of water, Cheerios in a glass of water. Rabbits can't eat water. And hay for the eggs. Are you fucking? Just, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you gave me anxiety right there. <laughs> you sure it was anxiety? <laughs> this whole time you thought rabbits Might could drink been... water until I reminded you they couldn't. <laughs> Wait, can they not? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> Ed. Ed, you can't play with me like this. I'm super naive. I can tr I trust people too much. Can we just do the Patreon questions? Are we just oh, doing the one story? Do I not? Do I have to go fine. another fucking however long without knowing about the play story? How long is I the play so. story? How long is the play story, Mandy? I mean, we've been recording for saga. 45 minutes. We can't do I know the play it's a story. Saga. I agree. Oh, it's it fine. It's fine. Oh this man, is, is that a, is that a questions. to be continued? Nice. Patreon questions. 
If you're part of the tier ten dollars and above tiers on Patreon dot com slash sir meow music you can ask a patreon question and we'll answer it on the show and if and you're receive a, exclusive screenshots of avery stopping me from playing video and games. you can also if you're 20 dollars, you get access to our general <laughs> chat with all the racism <laughs> well to be continued on that one ed <laughs> anyways i didn't check questions if I <laughs> no you don't i'm looking at him there's no emoji <laughs> I, I just looked in the question. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I, saw, I know. Just, why? Yeah, why is I, that the first one? It, it showed up. Why I can, is that I the can first get one? It. I, I can get it's rid so of big. it. I can get it's rid so of it if you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I can get rid of it if it's uh, bad. You know. There are a couple. Don't want to talk about it. I love. I love how it asks. The date before it. <laughs> uh, what? Now I'm not sure what you're talking about. What's that? Should we do the... Uh, the, Spy, the Spy Kids one. <laughs> Should we do the uh, Derek Schwinn one? Wait, what's the Spy Kids one? Oh, uh, this. I didn't see the, uh, Spy the Spy Kids Spike, one. What is it? The Spy Kids one is ripped from an episode of Schmucks. I don't really want to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we could... We could do it, I guess, because we just mentioned it. Now people are going to be curious. <laughs> just leave it. Okay. they will never know what it means. Okay. <laughs> Should we do Thanks the, uh, the Derek Schwindler one? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> Derek Schwindler asks, Hello, Sir Meow. Sorry I haven't gotten back to you in a while. I've been busy <laughs> with work and whatnot. I'd like to ask you all, mostly you and Shammy, if you could choose another animal to represent yourself, what would uh... that be? Oh shit, that's actually a hard one. I fuck with crocodiles. I know you didn't ask me. Fuck you, but crocodiles. Does it count if it's still a cat? <sighs> that's not a different. <laughs> <laughs> Does it count if it's the same goddamn thing? <laughs> well, no. Because I was going to say. I was going to say it. I was going to say a hairless cat. Because they're pretty <laughs> That's different. A shame. Okay. Um, like a sphinx. Hmm. What are the e the most ebon animals on Earth? Oh, what's that? I saw a fucking animal that's so weird, and it's like super dangerous, and it has like it just has two legs, and it's Pit like bowl. no. <laughs> the rapper. What? The what? Rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so five. far away, Ed? Sorry, I went to go pick up a Coke can. It fell. I was the last thing I heard before I got my headphones off was the rapper. <laughs> no, it's like a thing that. What is it called? Ah, uh, oh, I have a picture of it, but I don't know what it's what it's called. It's this. <laughs> I looked in general, and it was an adventure quest screenshot. I looked in general and it was boogie. A gerboa. A, ger a gerboa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> oh, it, it does have like T-Rex arms, actually. Uh, Avery, what would yours be? <sighs> what would mine be? Uh, I don't know. Ball python. A ball python or a dwarf caiman. What's a dwarf cave? I don't know what either of those it's are. It's like a tiny crocodile. It's like a little crocodile. It's like a little crocodile. They're fucking sick. That's actually cool. What about you, Ed? I, with your I duck? I already said, bitch. I also said crocodile, oh, but fuck. Now, Shammy TV oh. stole my thunder, and he has more I was subs. More so specific. Shammy TV stole <gasps> my thing, oh, and he has cute. more subs, so people will say I'm copying him. So, fucking... Uh, That's how it works. Uh, what about you, man? Fucking give me a you, second. Maggie, I'm thinking of, of something. I'm the one person here without a fursona, so I don't have to answer this question. My, it sure specifically asked me and David. I don't know why. Oh, know why my fursona would oh, be... Yeah, Ed can do it. My fursona would be Coco Jumbo. Yeah, that's what I sent that image for. I knew what I was doing. What's Coco Jumbo? Part uh, five. Mr. President, where are you? <laughs> it's just a magic okay. turtle. That's, that's all it is. Mandy, fuck you. <laughs> Mandy, oh my god. 
Let's not spam Patreon question chat with that. It's, it's my stand, Mr. President. Anon guy asks, Thanks for the great A content. My question is this. If you could live in any world from a video game, which would it be? I think we've answered this, no? Did we? Am I, I crazy? I like we have. Different guy I'll asked. do it. I mean, I can do it another and, time. Oh, yeah, I, I think because people, like uh, people said like Mass Effect and stuff, I think. I Did correctly. I don't think that's accurate because uh, who would say Mass Effect? That. I don't know. Oh, Charlie. I guess Brendan would say Mass Effect. I th my, yeah, Charlie? I think it was Brendan. Uh, Brendan well, can I? Ch I'll I'll oh yeah, because I think I think Krelas answered it too because he said some uh, Final Fantasy thing. Oh, Creel and I both said Chrono Cross. Yeah, I think that's right because that's exactly what I was going to say. Wasn't even on this episode. Well, now you can answer. Uh, well, oh, okay, we're doing it again. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, oh god no oh god you're on the spot i'm looking around video games um dude i don't know video games are ass just say yakuza no what just say yakuza yeah. you just want to be I don't a fucking japanese speak man. japanese but you could if you lived there but like I, i'd be living as i am now like it would teleport me there i wouldn't be like you know would it would it though? Like, I'm, uh, would I you, like the you idea mean of born and raised. Being... If you could be born and raised in a video game place, which I don't one know would how you pick? it works? We haven't set up the rules of this universe. Okay, let's say it's born and raised, so I'd be Japanese. Uh, eh. Also, no. <laughs> if you, you walk down the street in Yakuza, you get your ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm. And Ed, you'd be so much bigger than everyone, though. Dude, like, you think Kiryu's tall? That's relative height. That man's four foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me look at my Steam list. I guess Resident Evil Seven. That'd be cool. What? 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 To be honest, I opened Steam and that was the first game I saw. <laughs> so yeah, no <laughs> shit. Ed, I remember when we were driving through Swamp. Oh, dude, fucking psych! It's not Chrono Cross. My pick is fucking. Uh, what's, I don't, it's Latin bullshit. Give me a sec, I need to find it. Cool. Latin. Scala Aid Calum from... <laughs> Mine would be Mirror's Edge. From Wait, yeah. Cool future. <laughs> Scala Aid, Scala Ad Calum from Kingdom oh, Hearts 3, because it looks fucking insane. I love living cyberpunk or Warhammer. Me too. I'd be a commissar. They look so cool. I'd be, I, I wouldn't die in a trench. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't die immediately. I'd be an epic space marine. Um, yeah, you spent so much time in arguing in internet forums about how your fucking fantasy space dad could beat up everyone else's fantasy space. Okay, dads. I got mine. Mine, you're uh, Master Chief. You're, my space marine could kill ten thousand Master Chiefs. I got mine. Mine would be Bioshock Infinite pre Carnival. You. You want to live in a racist, live in a racist nationalist society? <laughs> Yikes! What the fuck? Yikes! Ed. <laughs> hey Ed, what's up? Oh, Why can't Jesus. you belong to read? <laughs> I don't know. He's tied up to a pole at this <laughs> carnival, though. You can ask him. <laughs> I like. I like how Ed was making fun of Cyberpunk for a ha -ha cool future. He's, he goes to the racist nationalist utopia and goes, Wow, cool balloons! <laughs> oh my god. How uh, is your joke answer better than both of your real <laughs> ones? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ed, yeah, we're Jesus moving Christ. on. I got my I got my giggles. Yeah, Avery, Avery, what's yours? I fucking you have one. I my brain exploded. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have one? Just find one. I, Just think I of the game. I'm I love this silence. One. This silence when I said pre-carnival. <laughs> Uh, fucking, oh, I want to live in the world of Knockback. It's a game made by Mormons, where dinosaurs <laughs> shoot each other with guns that knock them off platforms. <laughs> 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 That's my isn't that, answer. Isn't that just stick fight the game? Nah, Knockback is a first person shooter. 
I don't know why I'm visualizing this like questions. the Banjo Tui. I own it. If you, it's free. You guys want to play it? <laughs> Knockback. God, oh, it's Mandy, it's what's awesome. yours? <laughs> <laughs> I guess oh I live God. in oblivion. To just like wander around, like talk about the weather. You and just died a wolf. Bullshit to people. You're still you. Yeah. Mandy yeah, would. I like, don't think Mandy would die to wolves. I think he would be crafty. Mandy would become the wolves. oblivion slings. He would yeah! wolves. And they like swing down. <laughs> Mandy would trick the wolves into doing his bidding. <laughs> Why are you? Why are you doing this? <laughs> That's that's my life in Cyrodiil becoming like uh, a, yeah, a level forgot, four Yeah, no, Mandy cave would boss. beat up all the wolves. Mandy would beat like up I so many cave. wolves that he would become a legend, and there would be art of him beating up the wolves in every city. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Mandy would be the guy they I'm worship live in a instead of cave and be killed by protagonists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dying. I would die in a bandit cave, and have like. An okay pair of pants to take off of me, and that's it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Never should have come here. Wait, David, did you just delete the one I was looking at? Did the I? drink one? It, it's it's gone. Because we talked, I, I think we had it on, an, on like one of the last Damn it, I was going to say David's remember. blood. Fuck. Uh, that okay. Been what, good. Huh? Kyle Ripper asks, what's everybody's favorite blood D drink? <laughs> What? No, we're done. We're not doing that. I anymore. had blood on the mind. I had blood on the mind. I said blood instead of drink. Let's do a uh, fucking uh, last one. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Wait, are we doing the drink one? Are we picking something else? How many know. questions? I feel like we did all the questions. We just did two. Oh, did we? Just we? Did two. Yeah, that was we literally so only dizzy. did two. <laughs> we How might do you have think done David three. Feels? He's got no blood. I've got no hair. So, please donate blood to my Patreon. <laughs> I don't need this money. I need iron. Just give me blood. <laughs> yeah, oh, fucking. I don't even know. What, what is a pride fighting competition? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. Is that wrestling, but like more overtly gay? Like I don't know. Let's ask. Let's like all let's ask battle. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm scrolling. It's up. soccer. It's soccer. I think no. It's not. It's mix. It's Japanese mixed martial arts. Kiryu. I didn't. I just didn't realized we didn't read the, out the question. <laughs> yeah, John Chapman <laughs> asks. <laughs> <laughs> John Chapman asks, the PSD crew gets one chance to join a pride fighting competition tournament for a grand prize of a billion dollars. Who would you elect to be the fighter and why? Is the, but is, wait, is the fighter somebody in this, like, in PST? Or is it somebody like, I don't know, any fighter, any fight man. If I have to pick someone hmm. to fight from this server, hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll that answer for both. Maybe picking I'm someone picking fighting force. Trelly. He did wrestling for years. Yeah, it should oh, probably be Trelly. It should be Trelly. He's not an official it, member of the podcast, though. Yeah. Oh right. Oh well. Shit, and I'm thinking like Brendan's chat. big, but he's soft and has Lego arms. So. Uh. Ooh. I don't know what Cameron Let's looks look like, so maybe people. not him. Uh, um, Kyle, they'll just like, he'll just psychologically torture Kyle's? them to kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Kyle can do that. I don't think he'd Kyle lose can his fight. license. I don't think Kyle can fight, anyways. I feel like he 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 would not be. He's a lover, not a fighter. Yeah, who in the me? podcast has ever been in a fight? No. I mean, I've been in fights, but that was ages I've ago. I've been in fights, yeah. Yeah, it's been a few years. I mean, in, in I had a fight whatever, club, if that counts. You also had a fight club? Yeah. But so many people on the podcast have a fight club. No, but our, our prerequisite was we had to be shit-faced to join. 
<laughs> seems like it seems like the same story as someone else. Was there one okay. sober boxer there beating up all the drunk people? No, 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 no. Okay, different story <laughs> then. I did meet a, a guy in a in high school, not high school, college, who told me that like after um, after him and his friends saw Fight Club, they hired some like vets oh. to beat their asses. What? Just... What are we talking about? Oh, people that fight. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Fucking Incineroar from Smash answer. Brothers <laughs> next. <laughs> Why was that the first? Okay, never mind. Um, I, Rob from in Smash. Um, people that could win in a fight from media. Uh, I don't play fighting games. Mandy, is this the Hobbit game? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I feel like we're done. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> yeah. uh, is anyone gonna yeah. plug anything? Duke Nukem I from Duke Nukem no. Forever. I am. I am. He'd win in a fight. Uh, He'd win every fight. He's so strong. No, I picked Goku. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Goku. <laughs> okay. You can follow me on uh, Twitter at Sermion Music. On SoundCloud at Sir Meow Music. Eh, fuck it. Fuck SoundCloud. Unfollow me from SoundCloud. It's gonna die anyways. Uh, you can check out my music, Sir Meow, on Spotify, on Apple Music, and pretty much everywhere else. And I stream on Wednesdays and Sundays at 9pm EST on twitch.tv. Why don't you give the time you Sir stream music. in PST? Future David. This is a good plug. In PST? Wow. Um... Is it just is it six? <laughs> is it six? Is is EST is, is nine PST? six PST? Yeah, okay. I thought you meant six hour difference. <laughs> you no, it's three is? hour difference. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Nine PM EST use a converter. Is that it? Should we yeah. end it on something I mean, funny? Okay, done? okay, you guys don't want to plug? What? That's oh, fine. am I plugging? You can I mean, if you, you want. If you oh want. damn. Okay. Hey, for everyone that listened all the way through, you're about to get a treat. Uh, you can find me on oh. YouTube and Punk Duck and everywhere else oh. is also that. That's it. Isn't it Punk? No, it's Punk Duck underscore on Twitter, you fucking Nah, man. follow the other guy. Whoever you find me, type in <laughs> Punk Duck on Twitter, follow him. I'm actually curious. I'm actually curious. What does Punk Duck on Twitter without the Last time he tweeted was 2010. What did he say? I don't know. Something racist. The person with at Shammy is tweeted twice. The other me runs a Minecraft channel. <laughs> I know about that <laughs> one. <laughs> he tweeted once about his Minecraft channel, never again. Dude, I should make a movie where it's like you get reborn as the person who stole your Twitter at. And you have to live their lives until you find them. Can we call? This is like a Black please. Mirror episode. And then, and then when you touch, <laughs> you turn into cubes. What? I'm I, I, I get it. I'm You're an idiot. This. Can we fucking stop doing <laughs> that? Stop doing that. Clap? I'm the only one here who's going to get any of them. I'm not. That's not even a part seven thing. It's a cubes thing.